This is Micropulse ISIS PEMF video tutorial number seven, holding coils in place, step number two. Before reviewing this video tutorial, we recommend you review video tutorial number six, which shows you how to use self-adherent bandages to hold ISIS coils in their configuration. Configuration means how you hold one coil with respect to another coil. Here's a side-by-side -side configuration. Here's an opposite side configuration that we showed you how to do in video tutorial number six. This is different from coil orientation. Coil orientation tells you how you place the coils on the body with respect to the injury. That's a different orientation than that, even though the coil configuration is side by side in both cases. You actually have several options when you're trying to decide how to place the coils over the area to be treated. And it depends as much upon when you're applying the treatment as it does upon where on the body you're trying to apply the treatment. For example, if you're trying to apply the treatment overnight, sometimes it's sufficient simply to place the coils under the area to be treated. Now, if you have a pet that's not moving around too much, oftentimes this is sufficient and you can get quite long treatment times by simply placing the coils under the area to be treated. You can make this easier if you place the coils inside or underneath bedding. That allows you to place the coils a little bit further away and that might help to suppress the clicking noise that can annoy some people and some animals. You have other options too if you want to hold the coils directly onto a specific area to be treated. One of those options is adhesive sports tape. This is usually comes in the form of a cloth that you can rip. And it's the same kind of sports tape people use to wrap up sports injuries or to wrap up hockey sticks. Another option that you have is tight fitting flexible clothing. Now there are some types of clothing that are tight fitting and flexible for dogs and some for cats, mostly for dogs. And you can get this and you could actually slip the coils inside and hold it in place. There's a lot of different ones for humans that have um, specific geometry for elbows or knees, but since our product is really focused on the veterinary space, these are a lot harder to find for animals. So generally speaking, you'll want to go with a different option. Usually the best option for holding ISIS coils in place in almost every application amounts to either using standard non-adhering ACE bandages, these are elastic bandages that are not sticky, or using a little bit more of what we showed you earlier in an earlier video, some of these self-adherent elastic bandage wraps. When using standard elastic wraps, it usually helps to put one full wrap first. Then you can place the coils and continue to wrap the elastic around covering the coils. The other option is you can wrap the elastic all the way around until it's done and you can fasten it on its end and then simply slip the coils in between any wraps, any levels of the wrap, to place the coils where you want to place them, pulling the elastic bandage over to cover the coils. One other excellent option, and this tends to get better and better as you gain experience, is to use an additional piece of the self-adhering elastic bandage wrap. You can actually use this to fashion things like belts and, in fact, whole garments. One thing you can do is you can take an additional piece, add it on, and then they'll stick together. This is an opposite side configuration where I'm trying to treat this animal across the hips. What I've done is essentially fashion a belt, and then I can curve the elastic wrap around the animal, come back around, and then adhere it back where it started. This gives you essentially a belt. You can go around multiple times. You can wrap around in different directions to increase the stability. But this gives you an option where you can place the coils and then if you need to, which you will, you can easily remove them, reorient them, replace them. One main thing to keep in mind here is that you wanna be able to move the coil orientation around the injury to be treated. All injuries are a little bit different, so you need to intelligently try different coil orientations and then pay attention to the effects to determine what works best 
in each case. Generally speaking, we advise that you start with a power setting of M or one of the lower power settings and that you allow each coil orientation at least a day or two to see what the results are. If the pain is reduced, if mobility seems to increase, if activity level seems to increase. Those are the sorts of things you look for. If you're trying a certain coil orientation and there's any discomfort, you need to look at a couple things right away. Number one, you want to make sure that the bandages are not wrapped too tightly. There's no case in which wrapping the bandages too tightly is a good thing. The other thing is that occasionally certain orientations of coils cause some amount of discomfort. We find that placing coils along the spine like this can cause discomfort, whereas placing them across the spine has a tendency to reduce discomfort and increase activity level. Once you have the coils in place on the body, then the next step is to secure the pulse generator itself as well as the loose cables, and we'll discuss that in the next video.